The Accountant. So The Accountant stars Ben Affleck and he plays a man named Christian Wolf. Christian Wolf as a child was diagnosed with a high level of autism that makes him OCD, socially awkward, but very intelligent. With the help of a program and a very loving father, Christian Wolf uses his talents to become an accountant. However, he is no ordinary accountant as his usual clientele deals with terrorists, mob bosses, and cartel. This eventually leads to Christian Wolf taking on a job that ends up endangering his life and the life of a newfound friend. Christian Wolf must now solve the puzzle in front of him while also trying to save the life of his newfound friend. That's all I'll pretty much say without giving any spoilers to you guys. This is a spoiler free review. I'm just going to tell you what I liked about the film, what I didn't like, hit you with the rating system just like this one, let you know if it's in the cinema, rent it, or maybe just avoid the film completely. And right off the bat, I have to give it up to Gavin O'Connor because I did not think a film entitled The Accountant would be so damn interesting. And I don't know why I had any doubt in this film, especially concerning with the cast and the director who previously directed Warrior, one of my favorite films of most recent years. The only thing holding me back was those damn trailers. They just did not seem interesting to me at all. I don't know if I was the only one, but every time this trailer came up in the theater or online, I just had to skip it because I did not see what was the hype in this. And 10 minutes into that movie, I was hooked, I was in it all the way, and I came out extremely surprised with how much I ended up liking this film. Starting off with Ben Affleck, he's the lead of this film, he carries it, and from the trailers you get an idea that you're gonna get an emotionless but brutal Ben Affleck. And honestly, he has a lot more to his character than they were showing. Ben Affleck was able to add this likable relatability quality to his character Christian Wolf. He's an interesting character where you're wondering what's going on in his mind and how he's able to do the things he does. Not only that, but you also have Anna Kendrick in the film, which was a big surprise and I thought she was gonna be a little iffy in the film. You get the idea that she's gonna come off as this annoying comedic relief slash love interest, but her relationship with Ben Affleck in the film worked very well even though it was very awkward. The movie plays on that awkwardness factor and it builds on it adding humor to the film which works very well. And even though Anna Kendrick is a big chunk of this film, she doesn't overstay her welcome at all. The film knows exactly when to use her and exactly when to make her leave. You also have John Bernthal who is this smooth killer assassin. Really, these three main characters are what carry the film and kept you interested. And that's surprising to say when you have actors like J.K. Simmons, Jeffrey Tamor, and John Lithgow in this film. But in all honesty, those three actors played very small parts in this film. If you add up all their scenes, it probably rounds off to 15 to 20 minutes, and which is a pretty short amount of time for those three actors. Even though their parts were short in the film, that didn't hold back from the performances they gave on screen. The film had a decent amount of action scenes, a surprising amount of humor, and all the drama fit in perfectly with this compelling story. On a side note, every time Ben Affleck's character in this film is kicking ass, it just made me that much more excited for a Batman film. I really came out liking this film because it was told in a way where it's puzzle pieces. The story at times is played in a non-linear way where you're given little puzzle pieces that you have to map out where they belong and by the end of the film it's all nicely wrapped up in a nice little bow. And I know at times that seems like a bad thing but in this case it left me very satisfied. If there's anything I didn't enjoy liking about this film is that somewhere in the middle when it's giving you all these little puzzle pieces where you don't know where they belong it jumbles up and it starts to lose you. However, that sort of picks up kind of quick towards the end, but then that also leads me to thinking everything was a little too convenient. And with that said, the film does have quite a bit of twists and turns as it goes on. I don't want to give away or hint to any of those twists, of course, because it'll ruin your enjoyment of this film, but sometimes when those twists happens, it leads you to think, wait, if that's the case, why did this happen way back then? It's just one of those times where because this is revealed, this part doesn't make sense anymore. But really in the end, it's something minor because they do try to tie up all loose ends by the end of this film. But still, this is a very strong, solid film that I highly recommend. Do not think it's going to be boring at all because it is very interesting with a lot of action scenes and it'll keep you laughing every little minute here in the film. But anyways, guys, that's just my opinion on the film. Let me know what you thought about the film. If you got around to seeing it, tell me what you agree with me on, what you disagree with me on. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But as always, guys, I'm Chris and I leave you with the 3C Film Review. Take care.